Hello, YouTube. We are back for another upload in relation to the Brave and the Bold 28. This is the second copy I have. As you saw in the last, uplo last upload, I'm sorry, I was removing the tape without any type of solution, chemicals, any type of liquid whatsoever. And the tape came off very well with very little graphic lift. In fact, the only bad thing was a part of Wonder Woman's leg came up. But in fact, this was the piece that was taped down. So a piece of tape was here because it was removed in the past. And someone taped it because there's a piece of tape on each side of her leg so this is not going to be a part of the book, unfortunately, because I want to try to get a universal grade. I do not want to conserve this copy. I will conserve the other copy that I am working on. So what I want to do now is that one of my followers or viewers in a short that I published said to me, that why don't you try to use what's called dry ice? And he said dry ice is a method that he's used or he heard of the individual that basically freezes the tape and it makes it more brittle where you can remove it better. So I thought to myself, you know what? That's a great idea. I never thought of that before. And I did some research and there are some, there is some literature out there that does say that sometimes dry ice can be used in relation to removing tape. The issue is I don't have any dry ice. And I am going to look into getting some, but what I'm going to do now, instead of using dry ice, is I am going to use the freezer. And you might be saying, what are you talking about, Jerry? You're going to use the freezer to freeze the book? And the answer is yes, I am. So what I want to do right now is I want to take the inside of the book out, which you saw that I just did. And then this is scrap paper. So what I wanna do is I put a magazine board down to rest against the back cover. Then I'm going to put regular scrap paper, copy paper in just like that. And then what I wanna do is I wanna put another magazine board or a golden age board i have so many boards sometimes this looks like a magazine i could be wrong but what i want to do then is i want to put the magazine board on top of the scrap paper just like that okay so it, it makes it where it's something rigid to hold the book okay and I think I'm going to make the scrap paper a little bit thicker, okay? I want to make it a tiny bit thicker, so I'll add some more scrap paper between the two backer boards, just like this. Nice and easy, easy peasy, okay? So there we go. So there we have it. We have the two backer boards and we have the scrap paper. I wanna take a few sheets out, it's a little too thick. Let's adjust it. There we go, a little bit better. So what are we gonna do next? What we're gonna do next is I am going to put the cover, just as you see it, into the freezer now. And how are we gonna put it in the freezer, Jerry? Well, I'll show you. Let me just adjust it a little bit better, just like this. We're dealing with a very delicate cover and most likely when all the tape is removed, it is going to be a cover that is completely separated. 
I have no doubt in my mind that it will be completely separated. And people may be asking, well, don't you think then maybe you should conserve it? And the answer to that question is no, I want to keep this particular book as a universal, even if it is a universal with a 0.5 grade. I just want to have a universal and I'll have a conserved book in my collection. So I'll have two, a conserved and a universal. Okay, so right now, here we go. We put it on a grate. And I'm going to go now and I'm going to bring this in the freezer in my basement. So I'll bring you along and I'll see. You. Okay, guys, this is the freezer that I'm going to use. It's in my basement. I took everything out. And then all I want to do is I just want to put the book in. And if dry ice is a method that you can use to remove tape without using any type of chemicals or anything like that, then why not just use the freezer and freeze the whole cover and hopefully this will work. So you guys may think I'm nuts, but hey, let's try something new. So stay tuned and we'll see what's gonna happen, what the results are gonna be. Perhaps they'll be good, perhaps they won't. We can't really do that much damage to this book that's already significantly damaged. So, okay guys, we are back. And I wanna show you, this is the Brave and the Bold, number 28. And it's been in the freezer. Crazy, crazy Jerry the Jitterbug trying new things. And I have to tell you, the tape on the spine, when I checked on it, separated. And it was removed from the area on the spine with a gentle massaging with my tools. So this is very cold right now. It's frozen. It's been in here probably for about two days in and out. And I slowly lifted the tape with my tools that everyone knows I use, and it popped up with minimum paper loss. And this is the collection of the tape over here to the left. So the piece separated on the spine, and it did remove a piece of the back of the graphics. It's, it's expected because that was removed anyway. It was taped on a piece, and it lifted up. And it's expected. So what I want to do now is quickly, I want to focus on this area with Wonder Woman. And I want to show how it, it works being frozen. And what I've been doing is I've been putting it in and out of the freezer. I work on a little piece of the tape like this. Look. And I slowly massage it to remove it. And we take our time. And if a piece comes up, that's great without the use of chemicals. So right here, if you, I hope the camera is picking it up. This piece is coming up very easily. It's breaking and cracking because it is frozen. Frozen tape. So right here, as you can see, and like I said, hopefully the camera is picking it up. This whole section here, a little color just came up. I can see it. But right there, without the use of chemicals, we have the edge of the tape that came up. So I have to say, I... I like this method to remove old tape that is oranged and i would use it again because the goal is i do not want to use chemicals at this juncture i want to try to remove all of the tape that i can mechanically so right here 
by way of example, we just removed this whole piece of tape because it was frozen and without any type of color loss, just a tiny bit, which I'm okay with. So I am happy with this method and thank you for the viewer who suggested it. Now, it's getting there with the tape being removed. So this I'm going to have to flip around and I'm going to have to pry it off on the other side. But before I work on it, it's a slow process. So what I will do is I will put it back in the freezer and I will freeze it, chill it up a little bit more and I'll come back and we'll work on the other side so we can try to remove it from the reverse. And another issue that I'm going to be confronted with, because I know that I want to try to keep this book as a universal label, but I'm going to contact CGC because I may, in fact, shift and use archival tape. And I just want to get confirmation from CGC that if I use archival tape, they're not going to do any shenanigans. They're not going to say that it's restored because then I'm wasting my time. So in relation to this book, I'm going to do an upload with my communication. Hopefully they'll communicate via email because I want to get it in writing that use of archival tape is not in any shape or form restoration. Now, generally speaking, the knowledge that I have about CGC is that you can use archival tape or tape at least. So I want to find out about the archival. I have used archival tape and received a universal grade. What tips it over to a restored grade is when you take pieces that are removed from the comic and you try to put them back. That's a no-no, because if you take a piece, like say, for instance, this corner right here of the book, okay, it does have a weak corner. It did separate a little bit. It's still connected right here. So if that whole corner fell off and I used tape to put it back, that would be considered restoration, okay? So I don't want restored. If I'm going to get a restored, I'll just do a full conservation, okay? So that's the next step, guys. I'm done with the freezer technique, or at least on the upload. And then the next segment in relation to this book, we're going to start cleaning it up, flattening it out, and trying to get this cover as best as possible for a CGC Con, not a conserved, a universal grade, which is what I want. So thank you. Appreciate you stopping by. Hit the like, subscribe, all those good things, and stay tuned.